So for today, we're going to be looking at Pothesis Veil I got asked for not too long ago, which is unfortunate because this exotic is straight up doo-doo butter. But who am I to say no to a subscriber who asked for something in a comment? So unfortunately, we got to make this video. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed, which makes me sad. So if you don't want to make me sad, a subscription, a comment, anything like that would be very much appreciated because I, I deserve it. I deserve it, <laughs> especially after this exotic. So let me know what you guys think, but let's just get into it. So the exotic we're looking at is Apothesis Veil. It is a pretty cool looking exotic. I'm not going to lie. Like I actually do like how it looks. My only gripe with it, I say only, there's a few. First and foremost, the exotic itself is trash. And you know, we usually never talk about what the exotic does, but this exotic doesn't do dick. Uh, as for the look, everything changes shaders, uh, colors. Thankfully, everything changes color except two pieces. The actual stone and i'm gonna i'm gonna refer the visor as a stone because to me it looks like a precious stone like almost like jade or something the visor does not change color it's always going to be that green blue so just be aware of that and then on the sides there's like this clip on the side that's white and black that does not change color either so just be aware of that uh as for how it shaders it actually shaders really well even though the clip on the sides don't shader it's black and white which is like very, very easy to like just ignore the only problematic piece is the actual visor because it's only that color so if you don't have like the specific colors that i'm going to show you right now then black and white it's going to be good greens blues uh if you can find that that tint of blue even better because Again, with like Echo Anger, look, it looks pretty cool with Echo Anger. It looks really cool with pretty much all the shaders that I'm sh currently showing you. It's just unfortunate that without without that blue green in your shader, it's just gonna look out of place, unfortunately. So just be aware of that. As for the example set, I'm gonna be showing you two. One is gonna be like the royal regal look, and the other one is gonna be more of a casual look that I just really like. So. For the for first look we're going to be looking at is the solstice arms from this solstice. I think it's really cool. I definitely really like these arms for the warlocks. They definitely want the best arms for me personally because the hunter and titan arms are not that great. For the chest piece we're using the solstice robes because I really like how the ornate look of the chest piece goes well with the ornate helmet which is the same thing for the boots the boots the celestine boots is also really good with the chest piece and the helmet and then the the best piece personally is the blood lineage bond specifically because i ended up getting the color of the of the visor almost one-to-one -one with the stone in the actual bond so that's the reason why I really love this set also pretty funny considering that almost all these pieces are from solstice events, but different years. So that's pretty funny. But again, my favorite part is just the fact that blood, the blood lineage stone pairs so well with the helmet. And if you guys are wondering, I, I am using the Boreal Char shader. This shader is really, really good, especially if you want to combine it with something like this. The only problem is this is from Season of the Splicer. So maybe get you can get it on eververse if she sells it one day maybe but overall definitely one of my favorite pieces that i made for the apothesis veil actually the only piece i ever made for apothesis veil because again i never use this exotic but i really 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 love it for this so let me know what you guys think in the comments below i really really like this one and the last look we're going to be looking at is my very casual look. I decided to go with the Lycan robes because this is one of my favorite chess pieces in the game for Warlocks. And we're using Meridian Constellation wraps specifically because the chess piece already has wraps within the arms. And I just wanted to give even more wraps to it. For the boots, we're using the Street Scholar boots specifically because I feel like the buckles on the thighs and the, boot and the feet are really cool uh, when you pair it with this chess piece. And then for the only thing that's kind of out of place, I would say, is the Corrupting Echo Bond. The only reason I have it out is because it's green and it's it's very good because it's so bright compared to everything else. But I will say you could probably switch the bond out for something a little bit better. If you can it, actually, I, I want to say if you can find another bond that has a stone, 
and pair it with the shader from the last one, I think that would be way better. Or just switch the bond from the last one to this one. I think that would be cool too. It's just that I don't like how that bond looks on this one. But this is definitely really cool as well. I definitely like the other one a lot more just because of the stone. But this is something I would wear if I would just want it to be cool. Like if I just wanted it to look cool and not worry about anything else, this is my rule of cool look that I always have. I always have this on my Titan and my, my Hunter, my Warlock as well. I always have one set that I don't care what I'm wearing. I'm going to use these pieces because to me, they're just so cool that it goes with anything. So that's pretty much it. This is going to be a, a short video because uh, uh, Apothesis Veil does not have any ornaments, which is probably a good thing because it's straight up doo-doo butter. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will be having some pretty cool stuff next up. We're going to be doing the Geomag stabilizers because it did get asked for in the comment as well. But then I'm going to go for Crown of Tempest next. And then from there, we're going to go to the Bombardiers for the Hunter, Raid in Flux, Liar's Handshake. And then for the Titans, we're going to be going for the Insurmountable Skull Fort and the Curious of the Falling Star. Now, for those of you who know the exotics that I just noted, they're all Arc. And what better way to start up Arc 3.0 than to actually go into Arc 3.0 fashion. So we're going to be doing that, which is going to be super, super cool. Still haven't decided if I want to make them separate or a really big video, which I might make both. I make me, I might make the more in-depth videos, the individual videos, and then a more general view of uh, arc fashion, I guess you would say. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me again, links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point because you guys are the real ones. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.